Jan. Today we're going to talk a little more about the USB settings for the G21 here. And in my last video, I mentioned that these USB settings were only um, accessible from the G21 itself by pressing the menu button. But I had a look in Tone Studio, and we have a system option down here, which gives us the same USB tab. Though we're missing the direct monitor on off here, but you can find that on the unit itself. But you have your mix level and your effects out level. And again, the mix level is your volume knob for the sound coming from your computer into your GT1 when it's connected via USB. And um, it will just allow you to set the level of backing tracks, for example, if you're just jamming along and you have hooked up your GT1 to your computer. And the effects out is the level of the effects coming from the GC1 into your computer and then into your recording software. And mine is cranked up to 200% um, in order to give me the strongest signal possible so that I don't have to do any gaining when uh, my recordings are done. But you have a lot of other different tabs here. You have your version tab where you can check which version you're on. There's also a link to the owner's manual um, there is a loop to set the level of the loop and there's your preference for each of the foot switches you can set them to patch or system depending on um, how you want them to be if you just want one foot switch to be universal for all patches you could set it to system and uh, the patch setting is so that this function or this foot switch will be um, Available to assigns, for example, with the CT uh, CT1 here, you'll be able to use it for different assigns on on all the user patches. When set to system, it will do the same thing on uh, on all the patches that you have chosen. So that's pretty nice here. And you have the knob settings. You can figure out what you want knob one, two, and three to do. By default, they're just patch and patch level and output level. And the play option here is your different configurations for the up and c one for example and the down plus up and your pedal light for example on the foot switches and the different parameters for a uh, knob lock here which is you can lock the knobs if you don't want to accidentally hit them while playing for example you could just set that to on and you wouldn't be able to uh, rotate the knobs and change parameters so this is a quite a nice uh, thing to be able to do while being in Tone Studio and while being hooked up to the to the USB here. You also have a tuner down here which you can feature and tune your guitar. Um, we also have a play option which is pretty nice because you can import your different backing tracks for example or songs or whatever you have and you can change the speed so if you're practicing to something you can take the speed down and increase it as you get better. You can also change the pitch so if one song is played a half step down, you can just alter the pitch and don't have to tune down your guitar while playing here in Tone Studio. And you can alter the, the volume as well. So this is pretty neat. And um, yeah, it's just a little overview here of the USB settings and other features here in the Tone Studio while hooked up via USB. So thanks for watching, guys. And as always, comments and uh, questions are welcome just let me know and uh, please subscribe to the channel i will see you in the next one